Uh, it says here that Merriam-Webster's Dictionary has released their 2014 words of the year. Now, the Oxford people did theirs, what, last week? And they're the ones that had such a bunch of uh, cultural, pop culture yeah. bull crap right. that is not, they're, these are, they're not words. They're fads. Uh, so Webster's Dictionary has their words of the year. They come up with the top words by analyzing word lookups on their website. Well, is that really an accurate way of doing this? But this makes a lot more sense than the Oxford one does. The year's top word, based upon searching, is culture. Uh, it was boosted by such headline-making terms as rape culture and celebrity culture. Okay. People don't know what culture means or how it's used in well, this instance. Well, it's, it's, it surely is missed. Nostalgia and insidious were number two and three. That's kind of encouraging. Mm -hmm. Better than selfie and whatever yeah. the other ones were. Nostalgia spiked in searches because of retro shows like Mad Men and Boardwalk Empire. Uh, insidious was helped by the horror film Insidious 3. What? And a bunch of us. So there goes that right out the window. Also scoring high, thanks to the Sonic drive-in commercial, was the French expression, Oh no. je ne sais quoi. <laughs> je ne sais what? what? I know, but what did she say? Ah, that translates to a pleasant quality that is hard to describe. Not two douches in a car in a drive-in restaurant. That is the most annoying yeah, thing, perhaps, I know, issue. I, I know. Maybe they could put Flo in the back seat and drive it off into the Grand Canyon. Oh, Flo and a bunch of other people. Don't get me started. I got a list a mile long. Santa has his naughty list. I have my list of people I want to die in a horrible <laughs> fashion. 